Good morning! I am going to Camberwell today. I'm wearing my signature outfit, wearing the t shirt, my gym sh shorts, and I'm gonna be wearing my new balance shoes. I'm tired. guys we got coffee from our local coffee shop it's very good tastes like dark chocolate this blend i think it says uh plum red wine and butterscotch but it tastes like dark chocolate and it's very good okay bye yeah telescope hmm? Does it work? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Drinks, like it always leave it to me and like there'd be a shitload of stuff out of date always. Hello, so it is can't see me. It is... What day is it today? I have no idea what day it is. It's Wednesday night. I think it's like 9pm. I came into my room to find an outfit for my gym session tomorrow, which I did. I'm going to show you. This is going to be the sports bra I'm wearing tomorrow. This is from Gymshark. This is the training sports bra, I think it's called. I have this in like three other colours. And I love it. Not the best, but I love it still. And then I'm going to be wearing my Alpha Lee. You can't see, but my Alpha Lee um, Amplify leggings to the gym. For my t-shirt, I'm just going to wear a plain black t-shirt. I came in here to grab my gym stuff for tomorrow. But somehow I decided to organize my whole wardrobe. So I've got... I took out all the um, clothes or the t-shirts, folded them and organized them. Like that and now I've got a pile here that I need to sort out and put it in here in the basket that I just showed you so that is how my evening's going also I have a small little pile on the clothes I'm gonna sell like this rainbow colorful paddle pop looking cardigan I'm sorry if the lighting's bad but my, the lighting in my bedroom is not the greatest but yeah I bought this last year never wore it out don't know why I bought this, or kept this rather, because I don't wear colourful shit. If you couldn't tell by my mostly neutral palette, I don't really reach for that crazy colours. I'm debating on selling this. I like it. The quality is really good actually, considering it's from Shein, but I don't know. It's very colourful, very bright. Not. I don't know, I might just keep this actually. I'll keep that. I want to show you this little pile or big pile rather this is my pile of meshki bodysuits they're tank tops zara tank tops you know that slinky material that brands have for their bodysuits yeah that pile i showed you is all from meshki and zara and they're all bodysuits and like slinky shit like this for example this okay this is not a bodysuit but it is the slinky material and this is from Meshki. I actually haven't worn this out. I forgot that I even had this. And this is why you should clear or declutter your wardrobe, guys. Because you might come across things you don't even realize that you have. I also got this very overrated top. Everyone wears this, everyone has this. But I haven't worn it out, be worn it out because one, I don't have a place to wear it out to. I might just give this to one of my friends when I go back to Malaysia this year. You know what's my favorite type of tops? I really like these mesh type tops. You probably have seen this in my other videos uh, where I share my favorite outfits. But this is also from Meshki. Love this top. Love the colors on this top. I love these mesh tops. I also have this IMG one. I haven't worn it out yet. but. I also showed this in another video, as you can tell, or probably not, it has like animal 
pattern. It's like mesh, but it's also animal print. This is my other going out top that I've not worn out yet, but I haven't worn it out only because it's not cold enough. Um, I'm not sure if you can see, but it's a corset top, and I really like this. I cannot wait to wear it out when it gets colder later this year. I also have another another corset that's completely out of my comfort zone because it's a literal corset. There's no sleeves, there's nothing, it's just a tube top. No idea where I'm going to wear it to, but I like to keep that. And I know I shouldn't keep... I, I feel like I shouldn't be do... Fall, blah, blah. I feel like I shouldn't be doing shit like that because I'll just start keeping things I don't even need. But I feel like it's good to have, especially considering one of my best friends getting married. And I feel like I could wear it to, I don't know, a bridal shower party, something. Or she could borrow it for the bridal shower. I don't know, we'll see. I don't even know if I'm going to even be wearing that in Malaysia because I have big boobs. And Malaysian men, Malaysian environment, not ideal. Or oh, not Malaysian men, more like Malay men. <laughs> I can't believe I just whispered that. I haven't worn this out yet because... I don't know. I've had this for two years. I still have not worn this out and it's so hard to tell what colour this is. Let me just put this here. I think this is better. Ah, oh, yeah. This is like a chocolatey brown bodysuit. I will definitely wear it out though with winter coming up. Uh, I'm gonna sort out my shit. Okay, I cannot decide if I should hang all my bodysuits because if I just put it in this thing, like, it's right here on this side of the basket. It's hard to tell if it's sleeveless or if it has sleeves, if I just fold it. But if I hang it up, you can easily tell. But I don't have room in my wardrobe to hang things up, so... Life update. I took all my bodysuits out from my basket thing and decided to hang them up. So I have so many here to sort out and my wardrobe looks like that. So, I don't know how that's going to fit, but we'll see. Hello again. I wanted to show you another regret that I have. It is this, what do you call this, a vest top from Shein once again. And I really like the pattern. It's just that, it's, I don't think it suits my body shape because it's very busy. And it's oversized, so it will drown my little 411 figure. So I'm gonna sell this. I swear decluttering your wardrobe makes you realize how bad your shopping is. And how much you consume. Yeah, it's a problem that I need to sort out. All I know is that my body suits that you see on my bed, I will never get rid of this because... I think they're essential to your wardrobe. Do I have too much? I think so. Before I go, I also wanted to show you one last thing that I want to sell. Let's see if I can get better lighting. There you go. This blazer suit situation. I like how it looks. I will never wear this out. I like this in theory. It's just not the most comfortable actually. It's the um, sleeves for me. It's a bit tight on my arms so yeah I'm gonna sell this as well I've been debating on selling this for the last two years but I haven't reached for it so obviously you need to sell but yeah thank you for tuning in to my decluttering section I will see you in the next clip hi internet it is Thursday 11 15 a.m. I am working at the moment I got I went to the gym this morning She's cute or whatever. <laughs> but anyway, I got a package. I got my Aritzia delivery. I ordered a pair of jeans because I am on the hunt for the perfect straight legged jeans. Yeah, I'm on the hunt for a new pair of jeans because I've gained a lot of weight in the last year or so because of the pandemic. And I don't fit in my jeans anymore, unfortunately. And Aritzia sells um, jeans with different lengths. So it will be, in theory, perfect for short people like myself. So I bought a pair. I bought the 
Arlo high rise uh, jeans and this is it love the color this is like my perfect color the only thing with this is that I looked at uh, video reviews on YouTube on these jeans and apparently it is more of a skinny straight fit instead of a straight fit my version of the perfect straight jeans are like the Aritzia um, Malina leather pants but they don't have that in jean form I wish they did it's like the perfect straight up and down it's perfect for my figure I want something like that but this is more skinny apparently love the material though the material is amazing as we all know I have a shopping problem and Another ASOS parcel. I have a problem. I got a pair of green leather pants. They're in this like, kind of like a Bottega green. It's very out of my comfort zone. This is from the Petite range. This is from Stradivarius. And my first impression is that it definitely is low quality because you can see all the threads sticking out like right here and around the waist so many threads sticking out so that's not a good sign normally um, when I see a thread sticking out it's not a big deal but because there's so many on here it's kind of turning me off but we'll see it's also another straight um, legged uh, pants this is from Bershka this is a high-rise flare, apparently. I thought it was straight, but on the website it says straight. Now it's looking definite. It definitely looks like a flare, so I'm not a fan of that. I'm going to return this, I already know. Hmm, very stretchy, I like it. It is 25th of March, um, 11.30 a.m. and I have an exam to sit for right now. So, I am kind of nervous. I should actually be on the call right now, but ah, I'm nervous. The exam goes for 90 minutes. There's 90 questions or 100 questions. The good news is that they're all multiple choice. But still, very nervous and yeah. Okay, I have to go, bye. Hi guys, it is 1.15pm. Obviously, I've just finished my exam and it was quite easy. There were some questions that I was kind of stuck on. But I would say generally it was quite easy. And I am going to Chadston in an hour or so. I'm going to pick up a an order. I'm probably also going to drop off some parcels that I need to return. <laughs> Hi guys! I got home from Chadston. I saw Shani Griffin in Chadston today. I was kind of, I was so shocked to see her because I didn't realize she was here in Melbourne. But I was walking into Zara. I actually saw Lily Brown as well, but I was scared to say hi and take a photo because I don't know I don't want to invade the space I've been a fan of Shani for like the last 10 years so I've been a fan for a really long time so when I saw her my jaw literally dropped hi it's Saturday I'm going to the post office to drop out these things and I'm going to get my stuff tailored altered so yeah I dropped off my clothes to get altered it's going to cost me $125 I also went to the post office but it will, the line was very long so I'm going to walk to a different post office now and then we'll go home and chill and shower <laughs> hello it is 7 p.m. I've just changed into my dinner outfit. We are going to the city to go have dinner at an Indonesian fusion restaurant called Yoi. It's one of our favorite restaurants 
and I'm very excited. So yeah, I wanted to show you guys my outfit. I'm wearing this sweatshirt from the brand Love is Sunday. It is created by an Irish YouTuber called Tara or Tara Mar here on YouTube and Instagram. But she's half Irish, half Malaysian. I like that it's embroidered instead of printed. Very good quality. For pants, I am wearing my leather or fake leather pants from Aritzia. My bag is Charles and Keith and I'm gonna be wearing my Adidas Continental 80s. I also don't have makeup on today because I don't feel like wearing it. So it's all natural. I just have some um, translucent face powder just to mattify my look a bit. What kind of sauce is this? <laughs> 